north of the Bessie Heights Marsh right now. Been running from daylight to dark since right after the storm. This is Orange County. We just hopped on the boat and run out here, going to feed these cattle. Water surrounding them, they can't get out. We're, we're trying to save the life of these animals and help everybody we can. It could drop as much as three feet of rain in some parts of the state. It is the fiercest hurricane to hit the United States in nearly a dozen years. We My family's run cattle back here for years, and you know we ain't never seen no water like this. It's seven, eight foot deep back in these marshes. Without these cows and stuff, and these cowboys, you don't have nothing in this country. You know, that's what feeds our families. That's, that's the whole objective, to get these cattle fed so they can survive and the rancher can take these cattle and continue his, his livelihood. The cows and the horses and the livestock is the next most important thing people's got, other than their family. So he's got to keep everything he can alive to keep his livelihood going. It's going to be a challenge trying to find them all. That's for sure. There may be some more back up along this road. Let me look. Yeah, there's a bunch of them right here. Yo! 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 First time I laid eyes on this bunch. Yo! Yo! Some of them's got their life savings tied up in just cows and horses. And they lose that. They don't have no bank account. That is their bank account. We text in the coordinates to get all these cows that we found in flooded backwater here to get hay dropped to them out of the out of the hill. This whole deal down here assisting people, it's not just Texas Animal Health Commission. I'm gonna help till I till I can't help. It's people helping people. Mm -hmm.